Today, we are gonna talk about RAM. Not just any RAM, but laptop RAMs. So dim, because it is a topic that hasn't gotten much attention. Let's click that download the RAM link there, and we'll see what kind of RAM we'll be getting today. We have this, it's the T-Force Vulcan from Team Group. Before we begin, we also have SD cards to give away. These are from Team Group as well. And we'll be having questions in the video. We will have a link down in the description below for you to answer the question. So don't miss that up because you'll stand a chance to win this 32 gigs cards here. So why we talk about RAM today? Because most of the time right nowadays, most laptop you get only comes with 4 gigs of RAM. What we have here is not the 504 but it's a 505 from ASUS. But the previous 504 actually comes with only 4 gigs of RAM which is very insufficient for most of the use including gaming. Though they include 8 gigs of RAM in the latest revision which is a FX505. But still, when it comes to extensive work, 8 gigs will still be insufficient as well. Yeah. Especially if you want to do intensive web browsing and then you want to do something like video editing at the same time, you want to download assets together, 8 gigs is really not sufficient at yes, all. It's definitely not going to be enough. Yes. Which is why we have something here, which is a Vulcan. So dim from keyforce, that's kind of tough to get it off. Even though you can't see the RAM while it's installed in the laptop itself, uh, Team Group still maintains a very good aesthetics to the whole RAM kit itself. It's in black PCB with a holographic keyforce logo at the front right here. This is a 8 plus 8 gig kit and it has a memory frequency of 2666 megahertz. And actually, if you look closer at the sticker here, it's not just any stickers. It actually helps to kind of dissipate the heat a little bit. Because it kind of looks shiny, so I would say it is somewhat metal infused. So I don't want to destroy the sticker, but let's get on with it. For laptops, the first thing you need to do is to determine how much RAM you have, obviously. And to determine if the brand of laptops you're using is going to void the warranty if you're going to open the backplate. Because as far as we know, ASUS does not have all this kind of problem. And for this part, we're gonna use the FX505. And uh, every laptop is different, so we're not gonna show you how we open this laptop. This yeah, is really for, loose. For some laptops, you have to look for that sticker that states void if <laughs> removed, void if destroyed, or void if broken. Those kind of stickers. So you have to be careful with that and do check with your sellers. Yeah, I would say that. The sellers will help you to determine whether it's safe to do your upgrade. Mm -hmm. Or just bring the whole laptop to them and ask them to upgrade for you. So FX505, we can upgrade on our own since there's no sticker at the back right here. Once we got it open, what we have to do is look for this slot and take out the existing RAM, which is just held by two latches. And then you can plug in the new one. Just give it a quick push and that's it. Okay, done. So we are not gonna secure everything yet, so we're just gonna power on and try if it works. The first boot will take quite some time because it needs to the motherboard needs to identify the RAM first. Mm -hmm. So be patient for a while. Give and it some time. So from the task manager we can see that it's stated there. 16 gigs of memory which means the upgrade is successful yeah and then it's running at 2666 megahertz which is at this bottom corner right here so you might be wondering what's the difference between adding another extra 8 gigs on top of the existing 8 gigs that already come with the laptop compared to a proper dual channel kit which you can get from the market mm -hmm. because okay kit like this when it comes in a single stick it's actually not really meant to in this form. So if you were to mix and match, it might cause that small inefficiency somehow. Mm -hmm. Because you do have uh, timing differences which we're not gonna get into very deeply here. Uh, your RAM will follow the slowest RAM available in your system and 
occasionally we'll have some kind of issues because it has to keep on adjusting itself to match the other kit yeah so before we get into the benchmark numbers I'm gonna talk about our testing setup uh, once again I'm using the Tough Gaming FX505 from ASUS and for the first test we are using the included 8 gigs of RAM plus another 8 gigs of RAM from another brand which I'm gonna is, show you the brand but <laughs> yeah this one is another 8 gig cake so these two have very different timings but two of them runs at 2400 megahertz only and then for the team group one it runs at 26 66 megahertz and they are meant for each other because they come in a kit Something to highlight is that not all laptops actually come with the option in BIOS for you to actually allow XMP. Yeah. So for this one, even though you can't really enable it to the XMP, which is stated on the box here, which is CL18, but at least you still manage to get uh, the 2666 speed with CL19, which is a bit slower, I guess. Another thing to highlight is that uh, Anything above 2400 megahertz is considered overclocked because it's out of the JDX specs. So onwards to the benchmark. The overall performance after you've upgraded the RAM, I will break it down into a few parts. Firstly, into video rendering because of course I'm gonna edit this video as well. Um, it doesn't show much of a difference. It's everything is within margin of error. But when it comes to games, especially titles like Shadow of the Tomb Raider, if you want to mix RAM, then it does show some difference. Hitman, it does show some difference as well. And the most significant difference one is in Watch Dogs 2. So what's the difference here is actually with higher speed of the memory, you actually get higher minimum frames per second compared to the one that comes together with the FX505 by default and the other kit that it adds to this FX505. The minimum frames is actually lower. Do note that <laughs> The latency itself plays a role as well because we didn't manage to get it to the CL18 which is as advertised due to the limitation of the BIOS itself, the chipset of this laptop but instead 19. So if you were to get it to 18, you might have to go for a more high-end model yeah. which means more cost to that. So compared even to the original RAMs which are running at 2400 MHz, um, we can see quite a significant difference when it comes to minimum frame rates and also the frame times when we upgrade to 2666MHz on the Team Group Falcon RAM. So other than the performance, of course, you get higher capacity of RAM which actually helps a lot when you do a lot of tab in your browser. <laughs> because I know a lot of people, including myself, I do a lot of tabs and the more tabs you get, it's gonna eat up more of your memory resources. Keep in mind that this laptop, the Tough Gaming FX505, originally came with only 8 gigs of RAM. We added another 8 gigs just to do an apples to apples comparison for this benchmark. Okay, so instead of upgrading your existing, you know, laptop with 8 gigs or 4 gigs RAM with another stick, it's better to you know just get yourself a proper noodle channel kit because. Seriously, if you were to get another kit which is faster or slower, the fastest one will still have to cater for the slower kit which means it will affect your performance. Mm -hmm. And then, affect your wallet as well. Yes. Then, the other one is, uh, it actually helps to improve your gaming performance. Mm -hmm. Not all titles but some that's really memory dependent like the Watchdog tool that we have tested. Mm -hmm. It really shows a difference especially in the minimum frames because if you have higher minimum frames it actually helps to reduce that lagginess stutter or jitters whatever you call it for better gaming experience smoother frames good mm -hmm. for your eyes yes and also less frustrating and last but not least of course you get more capacity yes so when you have more capacity obviously you can open more chrome tabs you can do more things everything at once and you can still maintain a very smooth workflow especially once again for video editors so before we end this video we still have two more videos where we talk about these two sd cards also from team group we're gonna talk about the difference uh, on what these two cards are optimized for and you can stand a chance to win one out of three of these sd cards as well yes so stay tuned for that 
So that's all for our video today. Thanks Team Group for sending us these wonderful kits for this video. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Of course, stay tuned for the one so you can win these nice cards. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.